Okay, so I am permanently mounting the magnets to this mosquito netting. So I opened this back window. So because it, that puffs out a little bit, I had to put a lot of magnets around here. So I placed them exactly where I want them. And now I'm going to go around and trim right to the edge of the magnet. All the way around. And then I'm going to duct tape each magnet individually to the net and to itself. So I'm doing this while it's magnetized to the car. That's the best way to do it. So this is what it looks like now. The magnets are right to the edge the way I want them and because of this rain guard is a little space I can't put a magnet so I got one right at the top and right below it to keep the screen as tight as possible. If you miss a spot you can always add more. At first I was going to do like a hem all the way around but that was actually unnecessary. I decided to just do one piece at each magnet because the tape's not quite wide enough to cover the magnet and get much on the other side. So I take about two inches of tape, put it around the magnet like that, so this tape all around it, and then fold it underneath. Make sure you get it smooth underneath, it'll be less, uh, it'll stick better, and that way the duct tape kind of sticks to itself on the other side. And that's what you have. So that's one. And I got to do that for all these magnets. If I had to bunch close together, I might do a strip, but and it's kind of messy looking because I didn't quite line it up, but you could always do it again if you don't like that, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it. All right. So this one came out better because I made the piece a little bit shorter. So the back is shorter than the front. That way you don't get that white like that. Now I got these magnets at the Dollar Tree. Not all dollar stores have them, but Dollar Tree does. There's like six of them for a dollar. Now these I think are maybe three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch in diameter. You want the bigger ones. They have smaller ones, but I wanted the bigger ones because I thought it would just hold better. I'm not sure if the smaller ones would work too. I would imagine they would. I guess you just have to try it. All right, so I'm going to finish putting the tape on all those. Okay, well this is the finished product. Like I say, it was a little bit awkward going around this window. So that's why there's so many magnets and I had to cut it a specific way. But it looks like pretty pretty bug tight anyway. You know, put these two close together because of that space. And that should hold, and this should hold right here. Now I should be able to, I did go with the covering the two windows, so it's going to be a little bit harder to handle this screen, but it should be easy to just fold up and put away and put back up. Let's try it. And this side door has a cup holder in it. Should fit right inside there.
Now I did the front window, let me show you that one. Alright, so that's this one. This one needed a lot of magnets up here. And right here by the mirror, this is plastic so magnets won't hold. So I put one right at the bottom and one right at the top. And it seems to be not much of a space there. Should be okay. But I am going to need more magnets. This used a ton of magnets. Let me see. One, two. This one right here used 21 magnets. Something like that. That's just for one window. I don't know how many that used. Probably 25, 30. All right, well, I'm going to have to find more magnets before I can finish the other side. Thanks for watching.